Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And before this video starts, I kind of want to talk to you guys about something. So I know my upload schedule is five videos every single week, even though I have only uploaded one video this week. And that's because I've been really busy with luck. Like I've tweeted editing for bigger channels. I've been shooting Instagram pictures that you guys will see in the upcoming weeks on my Instagram page. My Instagram is at Alex Halvers. Obviously, make sure to go ahead and drop a follow right there starting next week we'll be back with five videos each week but it's just getting so and so busy i'm getting approached by so many companies and people that want to work with me if this is going to continue like that i literally have to hire someone to help me out with all the emails everything like that all around it so i can focus on creating videos but with that out of the way in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create cinematic videos completely for free we're not going to talk about any paid plugins you don't have have to spend a dollar so what we're gonna do first of all is drop a like down below subscribe if you're new and I would say let's get started obviously right after the intro Okay guys, so right now we're in Vegas Pro 16 as usual and I just picked a nice stock footage clip and what we're gonna do first of all is think what kind of things do we see when we hear cinematic? Is it gonna be for, for example like documentary style anything like that? So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna apply some color correction and then we're gonna also apply some cinematic black bars I'm gonna show you guys how to apply them always what you have to do is go on your clip right click you want to hit properties and you want to check disable or resample that's always the case if you want to have smooth clips okay so moving on to the next thing is looking at our clip and see how it looks do we have a lot of blue in there that means that it's pretty cold do we have like a lot of warm colors such as red and orange we don't want to mess up the exposure so what we need to do is go to video effects what is optional is you can scroll down until you see the brightness and contrast which is right here and if we drag on the default one, we can just spice it up a little by adding a little bit more contrast. Because if you're going to over contrast it, it's going to look like that. And it's not going to look natural. And if you're going to place color correction presets on top of this as well, it's going to it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is apply just a little bit more contrast to it. That's basically enough. So moving on to the next one is the color corrector tab. We don't basically want to pick any presets because we can just create our own. So we're going to drag on the default one onto our clip now we can decide like okay what do we want do we have a little bit more blue colors everything like that so if i you know drag this mark a little bit more to the blue side of things it's going to look very cold and everything but if we drag it to the, the you know to the red orange it's going to look pretty pretty warm and we also have the low ones we have the mid-tones right here and we can just adjust a few things and you can just do whatever you like, how you think your footage will look the best. That's pretty much what you need to do. I always like to add a little bit more blue to it. And also for the midtones, a little bit red. So it's going to look very cinematic and not necessarily cold or warm or anything like that. Just make sure to just don't mess up the exposure uh, by just adding too much brightness or too much contrast. So if you're done making your preset, you can also just save this. So you can give this a name, for example, cinematic, and then you can just click on this diskette icon that will save it so you don't need to do everything all over again if you have a new clip. Right, so now moving on to the next thing is the cinematic black bars. Now I want to mention that if you have a clip 
and if the cinematic black bars are going to actually crop out important things, I wouldn't recommend doing it since you're going to crop out a little part of the video on the top and the bottom. There are two, basically two ways to do this. So if you hit the event pan crop, and then you want to make sure that only the size about center is selected. So we're going to just hit that. We're going to uncheck the lock aspect ratio, and then we're going to just drag these guys to the top. That's basically what we're going to do. But if you look at it, it's going to basically, you know, shrink the footage and it's not going to look natural. Right click, hit restore, and then you want to go to Google. And then you want to type in cinematic black bars. So we're going to go to images. And right here we have a lot of examples and you just want to click on this one. But you want to make sure that you will have a picture with like this checkerboard inside of it. Because you know that's going to be transparent. So what we want to do is just right click on the image. You want to hit save image or save as. So then if we drag on the bars that we just downloaded. Obviously you can just resize them or make them smaller or anything like that. But this is basically how you spice up the clip and how you make cinematic videos. And you can obviously apply this on multiple things. You don't have to necessarily do this, for example, on vlog footage because it's not going to look that natural. But if you have, for example, a vlog and you're filming yourself and then you have some cinematic shots afterwards of your town, anything like that, you can just add some music, add these filters, add these black bars. So that's how simple it is, guys. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Monday, which means a brand new video for you guys. And obviously, you know, during all of this, you know, the Christmas season, everything, you want to probably make it snow in your videos if you're making videos outside, for example, but it's not snowing outside. I'm going to show you guys a really, really cool, simple trick to make it snow. So make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, right here, we have a stock clip of a woman actually running in the woods but what we need to do is for example if we want to actually you know finish it off and have some finishing touches we need to go ahead and actually you know make it snow for example in front of the camera so that's what we're gonna do so the first thing that we need is the clip that we're gonna put the snow over the other clip is just snow you know that we can pick from the internet but obviously as always we're gonna use production crate because they also have some really cool snow assets so make sure to just go ahead and check out the link in the description if you want to go ahead and cop yourself some awesome snow overlays okay so right here we're on the website and obviously what you want to do is you want to log in and then you want to type in the search bar right here what you need in this case it is obviously snow so that's what we're going to type in we're going to just type in snow and then we can see all kinds of nice assets that we can use and everything like that so we're going to go ahead and pick a nice realistic one and we're going to go ahead and download that so let's just see what kind of you know clips they have i think this one looks very very cool so we're going to click on there but what you want to do is you want to keep in mind that you will actually pick the MOV one if that one is available for the uh, particular clip because once you want to remove the background and you want to have a transparent clip you need the MOV one instead of the MP4 one. So then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the MOV button and then it's going to start downloading at the bottom and as soon as it's finished we're going to just go ahead and actually drag it into our project. All right so now that we dragged in the video into our timeline as you can see it is just snow but it has a black background and if we going to just create a new video track and we're going to place the snow on top of the clip you still cannot see through this and that's why we download the mov clip because you want to just right click on the snow clip then you want to go ahead and hit properties at the bottom you want to hit the media tab and at the bottom it says alpha channel you want to put that one from none to straight unmatted so if i go ahead and click on okay as you can see we can now see through this but the bad thing is that you know if you look around the snow real closely you see some kind of black you know outline line of black shadow we also want to remove that how we can remove that is go to the compositing mode icon of the snow track and just put that one to screen and look what happens to the snow Boom. As you can see, the snow becomes a little bit more visible. The black around the snowflakes are gone. And if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like. 
it is now looking like it is snowing in front of the camera because she's running in the woods and if there is no snow you can just add it in real real simple so guys that's how simple it is this is how to do it make sure to check out the link in the description you know i'll just put the link there to you know to all the snow lake results that you can find on production grade so that's it guys i'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and tell me in the comments if you like this video and if it's helpful to you so that's it guys happy holidays thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video